And I've had several requests to show how the adapter works on the deluxe model. <clears throat> you notice on this bottle it's got a curved situation here. So it wouldn't really work very well laying the bottle this way. But when you reverse this setup here and put the cone here, then you can set it in the top and cut the bottle this way. Now, I've had to adjust the, the cutting head now to, to keep it purple, perpendicular to the glass. Uh, if you notice, it's adjustable in two different ways. This way, with this screw, to get the uh, two sides equal angles here, from here to here and here to here. And then, that's with this screw and you tighten it. Then, then with this screw, you can adjust the angle this way. So the end result is you have a perpendicular uh, wheel to the cutting wheel to the glass. Now, there's several ways to 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 turn to rotate this and scribe the the line. One way uh, is just to allow gravity to work for you. You can just put the bottle down on the table like so. Bring your hand behind and start rotating this way. The other way is, and you know, that allows it to just follow the same line all around and gravity keeps it straight. The other way is to build a little setup like this. I'll show you how that works. It's just a, something that you can set the bottle cutter down at an angle and uh, just set, set it in there like so. Some people like this because then you can keep turning it without letting, you know, alternating your hands without changing the uh, speed, without stopping at any one point. But, you know, you have to go to the trouble to build a little thing like this. So, one way or the other, you get practice with it. Let's do it, let's do it the vertical way. I sort of like this way too, but it just takes a little time to build. Let's do this way. I'll scribe a line and listen for it to meet itself. That's important. So here we go. Notice I have to stop to get a new, whole new That should be enough to, to work. I met itself. You can see the line all the way around. Okay, now that's important. It's got to meet itself all the way around. Let's take and heat it up now. Just rotate around like so. I like this bottle, it's a Perrier bottle, it has a nice shape to it when you, when you cut it at this point. Let's see if that's enough. Got a piece of ice right here. I'll wipe it in one spot, see a little crack starting to form. That should be good enough, but you know it's never ready. It won't pull apart. There's always a couple of spots there that are that are that are uh, held up. When I go back, I push in so it won't fall apart on me. Listen for little clicks.
There it goes. Nice job. It's got a nice flat bottom. A little bit sharp on the edges though. So then I just follow the same thing we did before. This is just a piece of plate glass with, with uh, silicon carbide on it. Let me get a little. Sprinkle a little there. And my golly, let's get a little water. This is the finished one. I did one earlier, and this is how it looks when it's finished. Nice shape, huh? I'll go get a little water. You see the sound getting soft, softer. Well, let's see if we can Grind the edges a little bit now. Here's this, it's like an emery cloth again. Be careful not to bend it too much and scratch the, the glass, just enough to get the edges down. Well, this rinse it off and see how she looks. Let me wipe it up here. We have a nice glass. Pretty shape too, isn't it? I like that shape. Makes a good juice glass.